Kayonda, thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. If you're new here, I just moved to Mexico from the US with my dog. This is not my dog, this is my friend's dog. Mine is over there taking a nap under the tree. Excuse me, Julieta. Today I have another vegan grocery haul for you. Yesterday I went to the movie theater with my friend and here a lot of times the movie theaters are inside of the mall and while we were waiting for our movie to start we walked around the mall for a bit and I saw this store called Super Naturista. At first glance it looks just like a, like a vitamin and protein powder kind of store but then I'm like hey it kind of looks like they have food. Maybe they have some vegan or gluten free options and they have lots of options, so I'm going to show you what I got and tell you the cost. Of course, they have way more than what I bought, but your girl can only eat and afford so much. Yes, the prices were a little on the high side, but not like ridiculously so. Before I show you what I got, I want to say they were very polite. Customer service is a very US thing, but they were very friendly. Um, when I mentioned, hey, um, I'm going to the movies, but I'll come back by afterwards so I don't have to carry it into the movie theater. Like, oh, don't worry about it. If you want to buy it now, we'll box it up for you and we'll hold it until you come out. So first up, I got this little bag of hemp seeds. It's 100 grams. I'll put the ounces on the screen. I have to get used to this metric system, folks. But I vary this as one of my toppings for my oatmeal just, just because it has omega-3 and 6. This was 57 pesos. And this is from Mexico. And then I found this bag of rice noodles. Isn't that fun? Can you see it's green, yellow, red, um, black? And they're not just rice noodles, it's also made of beet. Um, ajonjoli, what is that in English? I can't think of it, I'll put it on the screen. Sweet potato, moringa, whatever that is. I can't tell by the picture, I'll let you know. And these are from Vietnam. Next I got this pack of rice wraps. And with these wraps, you just put whatever you want inside. I usually put tofu and or rice, some kind of greens like kale or spinach, and finely chopped up carrots, and then find a sauce that you like. It doesn't say how many are in here, but I think there are about 10. This is actually imported from Vietnam. And those were 36 pesos with 50 cents. This one is also made in Mexico. They're cacao nibs. Again, I like to put these on my oatmeal. This is 100 grams and it was 48.50. This is from the same brand made in Mexico. It's a mix of white, red, and black quinoa. This is heavier, it's 500 grams. And it is, it was 72 pesos. Lastly, I got these two granola bars. They're both made in Mexico. One is cacao, mint, almond, and blueberry. The other one is coconut, sunflower seed, and almond. And these were 20 pesos each. So the grand total was 452 pesos and 85 cents. But I paid 477 pesos. Why? Because I bought a membership. If you go to the store, they have two price tags, one for normal people and one for members. So it's only 150 pesos for the year, and I think that's very much worth it since I'll be going there regularly. So yeah, I had a very good experience here. It is a national chain, so if you do become a member, your membership will work at any of the locations. If you'd like to continue following me in my journey in living in Mexico, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. If you found the video helpful, be sure to give it a like so YouTube can show you more videos like this one. Adios!